Welcome to my homeschool planning pep talk series. I hope you leave feeling encouraged, having some big picture perspective, and learning some practical tips to get your homeschool planning started well. Have you seen that meme? You know, the one that says something like, we've now reached the part of the school year where planning for the next school year is more fun than actually finishing this one. Yeah, I think that's something a lot of us can relate to. Recently, I was chatting with some of you on Instagram, and it seemed pretty universal. In the spring, a lot of us are tired. We've been homeschooling for approximately 100 million days at this point, and we just kind of want to be done. It's hard for us to be motivated to finish strong. And if it's hard for the homeschool mom to finish strong, it shouldn't surprise us that maybe we're seeing some pushback in attitudes or motivation in our kids. So before we even start talking about planning for next homeschool year, let's talk about finishing this one strong. What are some strategies we can implement here? Well, the first thing I think actually is a mindset. As easy as it is to start getting really excited with all the new homeschool curriculum options, let's really make a commitment as moms to finish this year well. Let's not distract ourselves by all the bright new shiny objects, but go ahead and finish strong. I think persevering to the end by God's grace is something that uh, we model for our children. And if we can keep that good mindset going strong, it'll make it easier on our kiddos. But how do we do that when we just want to be done already? Well, something that works really well in our family is what I like to call an all that's left list. I find it really helpful to just define done. Um, and for those of us who do take some sort of break for our family, it's in the summer. Other families I know take breaks at other times in the year. It's really helpful to know, like, when are we allowed, quote unquote, to take a break? Is that the end of the textbook? Well, I sure hope not, because, of course, one of the joys of homeschooling is the flexibility of going more slowly or more quickly as needed. And so I don't necessarily define done just by completing a textbook. Case in point, this year, one of my children actually started Algebra 1 in January. Well, I'm not going to expect her to finish all of Algebra 1 by May, but I still want her to have some sort of goal to work towards in her math before we move into summer maintenance mode. It is just sort of nice for the kids to know there is a point at which they can say, hey, I finished, I'm done, and now I can take a break with a joyful heart. I think that's helpful for mom too, so that we're not constantly like adding things to the list, like, oh, and here's this one more exciting thing we could add, or here's one more thing we probably should do. Just take a piece of paper, one simple lined piece of paper per kid, and write out a list, literally, of all that's left to be done for this school year. I like to divide mine up by subject. So say for Latin, I'll say, here are the chapters left. You're going to finish, you know, these six chapters and then you're done. In your italic handwriting book, I want us to get to this page. Uh, your math, we're going to get up to this lesson. Here are a few last books I want to make sure that you read independently before the end of the school year. And the great thing about this is instead of it sort of having this nebulous thought, I'm never going to finish, I'm never going to be done, school will never end, your kids can look at that one page and think, oh, it's not that bad. Like, I can do that. And I've actually found that it starts motivating them to work even harder because they love to check things off and see how close they are getting to actually having everything done. So it can kind of actually act uh, not just as a comfort, but actually as a motivator to maybe try to finish more quickly than they would have otherwise. So before you even start worrying about next year, let's make sure we have a good plan for finishing this year strong. And I think one way to do that is with an all that's left list. For even more homeschool planning encouragement, grab my free homeschool planning guide. You can find that at humilityanddoxology.com slash homeschool dash planning dash guide, or just check the link in the show notes.